that's digging pirates. Uh, it's a gorgeous day out, and as you can maybe see, right over here, right there, right, right, right there, we've got a little competition. Looks like there's a couple people out here digging already. I don't think they're swinging for rings, though. Probably penny pinchers hunting the dry sand. Anyway, just kidding, guys. Whatever you guys find in the dry sand, awesome. But today, it's hot. Winds are out of the south. We're talking 90 degrees plus humidity. My friends down in Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Georgia. All you southern diggers, you guys know what I'm talking about. The humidity, it's tough. Anyway, we're going to get in the water. We're going to see what we can find. Okay, the beach is looking gorgeous. Probably just saw over 20,000 people come through. Maybe more yesterday. It was the 4th of July yesterday, so happy Independence Day to all my digger friends out there. But today, Friday the 5th, it's still going to be a hot and busy weekend. We're going to get out in the water. We're going to see what we can find. And hopefully, we're swinging for rings. <laughs> All right, pirates. One thing that I always do: turn on your detector right here in the parking lot, and on your way out to the water, start swinging. You're gonna find stuff all through that dry sand. I mean, look at that. There's a lot of beach. A lot of people walking from the beach into the water, and they're gonna be dropping stuff. So turn that detector on. Start swinging. I think this is what most people think of people that metal detect. All right, something's going on here because we just found the silver one and now we got the gold one. Somebody's trying to tell us something. <laughs> I had hoped to have a good hunt video for you guys, but it's not going to happen. You know why? The GoPro battery dead. In fact, I've been trying to get some good footage for you guys for the last two days. Just not happening. It's been hot. People have been at the beach. It's been great out. I've had fun in the water, but I don't know. It's just, it's either sanded in, my Excalibur is still acting up, so we got to figure that problem out, but it's been tough. So instead of trying to show you what I found, or didn't find actually, how about we do a nice little tutorial video? In case you haven't seen this other video on how to hunt the beach, I'll put it up here or here somewhere in that YouTube world. Check that video out if you haven't seen how to hunt a beach, but what about where to hunt a beach? Well, I'm gonna show you guys right now. So this morning, right as I started the hunt out there, I actually ran into another detectorist and a couple other nice people too, but uh, Christopher from South Bend, if you're watching, thanks, had a great chat with you. Uh, he's got the AT Max. I'm running the AT Pro as my backup machine, so somewhat similar, but not quite. Anyway, we we're talking about where to hunt on the beach. Well, check this out. As you can see, right now, the beach is packed. You know, whether you're right by the water or almost to the parking lot, you're going to find people stacked all up and through the dry sand, which means all of that area is fantastic to start hunting. So one of the things that I told him is soon as you put your feet into that sand, turn your detector on and just start detecting. Whether it's going out towards the lake or you're coming back from it, remember, people have to get into that lake somehow. They're crossing the exact same way that you did. In fact, look at these people right here. They're marching right through that dry sand, just like ants, through the rest of the people, through the rest of the herd, looking for a spot. While they're doing that, they're lugging coolers, chairs, umbrellas, all sorts of stuff, small children. That means that they are probably dropping some things. They're reaching into their pockets, they're putting car keys away, pulling them out if they're leaving. Things are falling out of pockets. So that means it could be happening right off of the pavement from the parking lot or right next to the lake shore. Hunt everything. That's the number one secret on where to hunt at a beach. 
Whether it's in the dry sand or it's in the water, you can see they're everywhere. Look at this. I mean, the beach is packed, the water's packed. You can see them on the sandbar. You can see people in the cuts along the water where it's a little bit deeper if they're looking to cool off. You're gonna find stuff both in that water and on the dry sand. So really, there's not a bad place to hunt. It's just about getting out there and digging. The other thing that Christopher and I talked about is about finding gold. Remember guys, you have to dig foil and pull tab and nickel signals. That means a lot of trash. If you're not willing to dig trash, you're probably not gonna find a whole lot of gold. Yeah, you might find that zinc penny, big 15 gram nugget out there, but most likely a lot of those nickel and foil signals, if you pass those up, you're passing up gold. So make sure you guys are digging all of that. In fact, while I was in the water, a gal came up to me, super nice lady, said, my friend just lost And I knew, you've probably seen that happen before if you've been out digging. Someone comes walking right towards you. Yep, yep, I know what you lost. So of course it was at this point that I was ready to turn on the GoPro, only to find it was dead. I wanted to do another awesome surprise return. Check out the video. It was a good one, trust me. Uh, the shock on their face, if you've seen my intros, yeah, she was stoked to get that ring back. Anyway, I couldn't do that, so I said, hey, after I find your ring in about 10 seconds, snap a photo for me and send it to me because I'd love to put it on the Instagram. In fact, here it is. And if you can look right in here, that blue umbrella, that's her. Look at how many people are stacked around her. She's pretty close to the lake shore, but not terribly. So that means anyone could have found it, whether you're a water hunter working your way out from the dry sand or you're a beach hunter and you're digging in the sand, rings are in the dry sand. That was something that Christopher just wasn't so sure. And I told him the very first gold ring that I ever found was in the dry sand. So they're there, trust me. No matter where you are on the beach, please just start hunting. Turn your detector on and just start swinging. Swing for those rings for heaven's sakes. Anyway, dry sand, wet sand, chin deep, it doesn't matter. You're going to find things sometimes. And I can't always prove it to you, especially when my camera dies. But get out there, keep digging. Dig those iffy signals, dig those trash, nickel signals. I mean, we're basically beach janitors out there. It's our duty to clean it up a little bit, right? Because you feel good doing it and hopefully karma someday will repay you. Anyway, very happy customer. She was amazed at how fast I found it and I'm so glad that she was able to get it back. Mm -hmm.